love the way flukes smell. They have a, they have a unique scent. Do they? What do they smell like? Uh, here, smell my finger. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Next Drift. This is a May 22nd, 2022 fluke trip. I've got with me my buddy Costa and my other buddy Tim. And we're headed out to uh, some local grounds. We stayed local this time. This is more of a recon trip. Uh, water temperature in the sound is around 55, 56 degrees. And uh, I thought we would kind of check out some of the past history fluke spots. Um, we're going to be fishing anywhere from 40 to 60 feet of water. I wanted to try to stay in that range. I know early in the season, the guys out at Montauk catch them in that same range. So I figured what we would do is check out some of the local water and fish that same depth range and uh, just see what we could find. Is there bait? Are there fluke? What size are they if they're there? Um, so we just ran around to some, you know, known fluke spots, maybe not well known, but known fluke spots and uh, just tried to see if we could get on uh, a good, good, uh, good population of fish. So um, you know, it was a great trip, a lot of recon. As you can see there on my Lowrance unit, I have the uh, relief shading downloaded on it, which was absolutely awesome. We'll talk about that in an upcoming episode. Um, that just makes it way easier to uh, find some of these spots. But anyway, um, you know, it was a great trip. It was a good recon trip. So if you like this content, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Come on. That's a good one. Hit mark, somebody. That's a good fluke. Want to grab the net toss? Oh, we just came. No, it didn't. It just came off. Oh, no, it's still on her. You want to know something? I think I had two on her. Really? Mm hmm. I think I, I think I had two on there and one came off. Dude, look at, right on the mud. Yep. Oh. Getting bigger. I think I had two on there, dude. The first one felt big, like it felt solid. I mean, you're not even getting a sea robin on it. It is weird. There you go. That looks like a good one. Want to grab the net, Koss? That's a fluke. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a nice one. Yep. Yep, lead him right into the net. That's a keeper. Yeah, buddy. Nice! Hey, Timmy! Right, there we go. Beautiful. That could that could be close. Good, buddy. That's cool. That's definitely. Measure them anyway, just to make sure. But yeah, first keeper of the year on the bucktail. Nice, dude. my phone, will you? Nice job, Timbo! Oh, coughed up squid. That's a good one. <clears throat> That's a fluke. Costa, want to hit the mark button for me? I don't yeah. think it's a net. Oh. Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, it's close. That one crushed it, bro. Did it? Yeah. <laughs> I always think every fish is a big fish when I said that. <laughs> That's how you got to fish. Mm. You got to be ready. I have it in my mind, you know, like the next bite, the next bite. It's going to be a 10 pounder. 
All right. Well, shit. It's probably borderline, but I, I'd rather let these. Yeah, it's close. That's that's close to 18 and a half. Yeah. You want it? Uh, I mean, it's just, I mean, there's no meat on that thing. You know what I mean? I'd rather keep them like 20. You know, I like the 20s. 20 plus seems like a fair, fair number. Like yours has good fillets on it, you know? Got a keeper. Yeah. Yep. Let it go. Well, we've got 1,400 subscribers now. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's pretty good. We get like 40,000 views a month. Just got to get the subscriber count up. A lot of people watching. Ooh. Oh, dude, that one was sitting there with it. Just chilling. Yup, chilling, chilling. There you go. Oh, shit. my fish Tim <laughs> Tim caught my fish oh no that's not mine mine was bigger <laughs> so John would say oh no mine was a keeper <laughs> I caught that I caught that fish <laughs> yeah I want to spend time with her too yeah the wife's cool about me coming that's good there you go. That one knocked it pretty good. I don't think it's a keeper though. Nope. Yeah. Hit it good though. Good practice. With the big boys. Yeah. There you go. But she's done the chartreuse again. Is it? Oh, what is? What was that? It's a squid. Oh my God! That's what you want. Awesome. Yeah, buddy. Dude, take that sucker home, man. There was a whole bunch of them that came up with it. Was it? Careful, he's gonna spit at you. Is he eating the plastic? Yeah. Yeah. Did he ink you? Oh, yeah, I wish I got it. I wish I got a film. Oh, yeah. That's why there's there's fluke here. There's big fluke here. If those things are here, there's big fluke here. Big ones. Yep. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Keeper. All right. Well, I'm coming on your left. Yep. Hit the mark. To the uh, cuss. Come off? Oh, it broke your thing off. Well, maybe it was a bluefish. I don't think so. No? Nope. That was a fluke. That was a good one. I look down, I'm like, my face is twice as long. That's weird. All things <laughs> like, let go. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Just had the net ready. Right. came up and saw it. pocket of them. Mm hmm. Between us and that can. Sitting there. The just sitting right, sitting under right underneath them. Waiting for them to come down. Yep. I put a pink shine on because it kind of looks. Oh, that's a big one. Nice and easy. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Nice. To your left. Take your time. Nice and slow. Wind slow. Wind slow. It came off again? Oh my goodness. What the fuck? Wow. You know, I put you guys on fish. I put cost on squid. He, he neither one of you can land oh anything. God, what am I do? Oh, this is horrendous. I just don't understand. Oh, that was a big one too. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. That was a big fish. I think I'm taking you guys in. I'm not going nowhere until I catch that thing again. <laughs> what you got? Oh, you got a good one. There we go. You. You got a big one, pal. I got a big one. 
Don't jerk. Yeah, don't be jerking and jumping like Tim. Torquing my leg. Step to your left. Tim, want to hit Mark? Mark. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh yeah, good poop. Could be a keeper. Uh, well, short. That's all right though. Short. Sure, shit, Costa, you caught a fish today. I know, right? Damn. 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 Him a little bit, a couple of times. Mark this day in history. Seventeen. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah, he's under. But hey, got one. Good job. There he is. Not big. It's fluked though. Okay. Not, not bad. Not horrible. Well, I had to talk that one into eating. Thing hit it like five times. So that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Next Drift. You know, we uh, we caught a ton of, uh, of of fish. We had a lot of shorts. We ended up with about five or six keepers on the day. You know, Tim had one around 22 inches. Uh, we let most of them go. You know, I tried not to keep anything under 20 inches just because there's not enough meat on them. But, um, you know, we had we had a great, uh, great day. Uh, lots of action. You know, we uh, rounded out the day, as you can see here, with... Uh, a big school of bluefish uh, out at the race and that was a lot of fun you know um, the, the birds were really working there was tons of bait tons of blues on the surface already it was pretty amazing it looked like september out there as far as the bluefish were concerned but you know like i said this was a recon trip you know we wanted to find some uh, local fluke that were close by in case we can't make it out to montauk but you know we did have all the intentions on this trip to go out to montauk but uh, the forecast had changed um, I use the uh, buoy weather app, which I really like, highly recommend it. And uh, the wind in the afternoon, um, they had forecasted 28 to 30 knot winds. And getting back would have just been brutal if that had been the case. But they got the forecast wrong, and uh, it was about a 6 to 8 knot wind all day long. We should have gone to Montauk. I would have loved to have gone out there for the first time uh, this year. But that's all right. There's going to be plenty more trips. Hopefully this week, if the weather holds up, we'll get out there and hopefully catch a couple big ones. A year ago, uh, this week, was when a 14 and a half pounder was caught out there. So maybe we'll get out there and that'll be us this time. Anyway, we really uh, appreciate you watching. As always, if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you real soon. Thanks again for watching. Mm -hmm.